welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. If you are new, I'm Amy, I'm a stay-at-home mum to three girls. I make videos about feeding your family, keeping organised and lots of hauls and things like this. So I'm going to try and get through this video as quickly as possible because this is a massive haul. You'll see from the title it's a home bargains haul. I spent around £100, I think it was like 4p short of £100. Um, so I got so much stuff. So I don't want this video to be too long so I'm just going to have to like whiz through these things. So I'll try and be as quick as I can, try not to bore you. I'm actually going to roll up my sleeves before I get stuck in. I've got stuff, if you're wondering why I'm looking around, I've got stuff like piled all around me ready to show you. So what's going to be the best way to do this? Let's start up here. Okay, let's start with these because I did actually go in for storage baskets. That's one of the things I went in for. I had like four things on my list that I needed. Clearly I came out with more than four things, but this was one of the things on my list. So I got these storage baskets. I had actually meant to get this size, um, but I am gonna use them. So I got three of this size, small, they're white, and um, they feel really sturdy. These were 99p and I got three of these struggled there three um and I've got four of the bigger size which I will show you soon it's got all the stuff in it in the moment we'll get to it but I got three of these and I'm going to use these for storage in my house because I am doing a big organizing mission at the moment which I'm going to share with you guys um the next thing along the same lines is a bread bin Doo -doo -doo. it's quite funny I was um speaking to my friend about a bread bin which is kind of a weird thing to talk about recently because she was saying that her mother-in-law always wants to buy her a bread bin because she doesn't have a bread bin or maybe it was her mum her mum or her mother-in-law and she was like I don't need a bread bin and they kept, they were like trying to force one on her as if it's like like all grown up she'd have a bread bin um, I don't have a bread bin I used to have a bread bin and now I don't and I use a drawer which has been doing the job perfectly fine but then it occurred to me that if I had a bread bin it's a long story about a bread bin then it would free up the drawer and I could use the drawer for something else and this can sit on the worktop there's a pat a pat la, 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 la. there's a patch on my I don't think that's the right word there's a space on my worktop um that is just a dumping ground for stuff um and no matter how often I clean it it just like accumulates stuff so at least if I have a bread bin there then people can't put crap on it so I got this one it's white obviously and it says bread in it in grey writing it has the wooden top and they had it in different colours, they had it in grey and pink also. And let me just check the price of that for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the price up on the screen of everything that I'm showing you. Um, it's just going to be easier than me having to look up the price for every item. So I'll just pop everything up on the screen and you'll see how much it is. Okay, so the next thing I got was a bin. I'm going to be honest, I wanted a white one and I couldn't reach it on the shelf and I couldn't be bothered going to get somebody to take it down for me so I ended up getting a grey one which is fine um, it's for Caitlin's bedroom it's a swing bin like swing bin it's not yeah it's a swing bin um, and she just leaves so much rubbish in her bedroom and I thought if I give her a proper bin then hopefully she'll use it not guaranteed but hopefully she might use it okay next thing um, I'm running out of space here guys. I'm in my little cupboard in case you're wondering. Um, if you haven't seen my video I'm going to link it um, probably up above somewhere and in the description box but I transformed my cupboard in my house into a little office and I come in here to work and it's quite cool for filming so I'm in here but it is quite restricted when you have 50 million things from home bargains. I said I was going to make this video quick. I am rambling. Come on Amy concentrate right i picked up masks these were really affordable i'm gonna pop the price up like i said um i got one which is like this floral one i really like i got a plain black one and the cool thing about these is they all have these sealable packets they have like this um oh, what do you call that when it's like you have to push it down to close it i can't remember um but so you can keep these clean in here and my favorite one this is the one i've been using um it is like a cotton one. It's double like lined. It's got white on one side, black on the other. But the cool thing about it is it's got this like kind of drawstring bit. I don't know if you can see that. But you can move this up and down um, to adjust it to the size. And I think I have quite a small face. So I really like that because I can make it nice and tight and it's not gonna like fall down or ride up over my eyes or whatever. 
So I got those. I actually got another one. It's not here. It's the same as the black one. Um, and what I didn't realise were these were on offer. So they were however much each or three for three pounds. So it would work out at a pound each. And I bought four. But if I'd realised, I would have just bought three or six. But never mind. I got that. One of the things which was on my list was these magic erasers. I use these all the time when I'm cleaning. So I got three of those. Um, they were 99p each. Um, I feel like you get, maybe you don't get more. I usually buy them from Poundland and obviously they're pound. And I feel like you get more in the packet, maybe you don't. Um, I think this is just like one big sponge, but what I normally do is cut it up into smaller pieces and it lasts ages. But I got three because they're much cheaper than if you buy like a name brand one in the supermarket. So stocked up in those. Really boring, I got nappy sacks because I have a baby and she poos. Okay, I got a thermometer. Um, it's one of the ones that you pop on your child's head because I have a thermometer, but it's the one that goes under your arm and it takes ages for it to like reach the temperature. And Autumn had a high temperature this week. It turned out it was just teething. It wasn't anything more serious. Um, but when I was trying to take her temperature, it was taking forever to like reach what her temperature was and she was just like so fed up with it under her arm so I thought this would be a little bit better so I got that I got two tubes of the munchies the munchies I got two tubes of munchies for putting away for the girls Christmas because they both love munchies and I've never seen tubes of munchies I've seen like smarties and fruit pastels and things but not munchies so I got two packets of those because they love those and um, I also got three packets of these Tofifi. I am saying that right, Tofifi. Um, if you haven't tried these, which I hadn't till this year, oh my goodness, you've got to try them. I, I'd seen them before, but I just didn't think they looked like anything in particular. Oh my goodness, they're so nice. They are so um, Moorish. Once you have one, you like, if you're me, you'll eat the whole packet. Um, I got three packets. I don't know why, I got three packets. Probably because I eat so many of them. I picked up some tissue paper. I picked up some tissue paper because it's always nice to put a bit of tissue paper in a gift bag if you're giving someone something. And I do normally keep a stock of tissue paper, but I didn't have any white. And it was only 49p for 10 sheets, so I got that. Um, I also picked up this, and it is um, a pack. It was in the craft section. Blank cards and envelopes, a 10 pack. Now they had this rectangular size but they also had a square size and they just look like really good quality. I've bought these from Poundland before and the card isn't great quality. It's kind of greyish um, but this was a really nice, looks like quite thick quality card and it comes with envelopes and this is really nice like if the kids want to make cards for fret, like I say kids, really just L, um, for their friends or teachers or grandparents, things like that. They're really handy to have. So there is 10 in a pack of those. Um, I picked up greetings cards and I don't have anyone in particular that I need to buy a card for at the moment but um, I like to, again I like to keep a stock of cards for all eventualities so that if I need a card I can just put, look in the box and there's one there. Um, we live in a quite a small village there's not a supermarket where we live so it's just handy to stock up on these um, and they're so cheap most of them were 69p a couple were 49p and some are 79p so this is the 79p one because it's a minion one because it's like a character and it was a little bit more expensive so that's 79p and i thought that was a cute card i got uh oh, this has got like a bit that moves in it i got baby girl card which i thought was really cute um i love this new home card and I think this is so good for 69p it's got a foil house on it it's a really nice design and it's got this little key at the bottom which is like an actual metal key it's not just a picture um it says a new home a new home new adventures new memories and it's really pretty for 69p um I bought this card before and I, and I think I've featured it in another haul but I really loved it so I got an another one again just 69p and it's like so nice quality got flamingo on it so I got that um this one with a doggy so cute. I got, oh, got that. I got this one with candles on, which I thought was really nice. It is metallic. I'm trying not to 
my ring light's going to reflect it. Um, I got two of those actually because I thought that was a good one for different ages and I got two kind of male, male-ish ones for like dads and grand grandparents, grand granddads. <laughs> The male version of a grandparent, a granddad or grandpa or whatever. So I got those. Um, I picked up this. I've never bought this before. It is the Fairy Dishwasher Cleaner Tabs. So you get two in a pack um, and they're for cleaning out your dishwasher. So you just run your dishwasher on empty with these. I think you just use one at a time. Yep. And it cleans out your dishwasher and I could do with cleaning out my dishwasher. So I got that. Um, this is something that I've been hearing loads about recently. I joined the Organised Mum Method Facebook page and it's got loads of cleaning tips and people sharing like cleaning advice and I'll tell you a little story. So I was telling Andrew this last night. In the Facebook group people post on loads of different things saying like I have this stain, any advice of how to get rid of it or I've tried this, can anyone else think of something else? And a lot of the time people were saying try elbow grease. And I was thinking, that is so rude, like, sorry, that's my mail. Um, and I thought that was really rude, like, obviously they're, they've tried their hardest, like, I thought they were saying, like, put some elbow grease into it. And um, they were actually recommending this, which is called elbow grease, so they weren't being rude, they were being helpful. So now I know. And I thought I'd try it, because it's meant to be good for loads of different things. Right, I got some skinny bars to offset the toppy fees. I got the Bliss ones, which I've had before. I used to have these as snacks when I was doing Slimming World. Um, less than 19 calories. These are really nice. They're kind of like a Milky Way, but really hard, like a really hard nugget. So like, takes a long time to eat. So they're good. And I also got these skinny crunch bars and I went for the peanut butter one. These are really nice because like, peanuts are really high in fat. So it feels like a real treat to have something with peanuts. And they've also got chocolate on them. So they're the skinny crunch ones. Two packets of them because Andrew likes them too and he steals all my snacks. Okay, I got some more snacks. These are for um, snacks for Elle to take to school for her break. So I got these fruit winders. She's been loving these. They are apple and strawberry. You get five rolls and I also got the Rice crispy squares, the marshmallow one. These were also a pound and after I'd been to Home Bargains, I quickly nipped into Iceland to get some ice cream and they had these on offer there and I was really curious to see the price comparison because to be honest I never noticed how much they were in home bargains but once I got home I looked at my receipt and they were a pound in both places so just as cheap wherever you buy them. Okay next I got a measuring jug really boring it was I think 39p but we use measuring jugs like all the time for stuff so I thought it would be handy to have another one and I also picked up another water bottle my camera just stopped, which means I've been talking for far too long. Um, right, I got a water bottle. I had one before, like exactly like this, and I loved it, and I went to a Pilates class and left it there. And I haven't been back to the Pilates class to get it back, so I just bought a new one. Some people would just go back to Pilates. I bought a new one. That is how much I will avoid our exercise, rather than go back to the Pilates class to get a washer bottle I have just bought a new one. Okay candles so I bought this one which is my favourite one of all time it's the gingerbread um it's the Wickford and Co which is their own brand it's the gingerbread one oh my goodness I love it um last year I couldn't get hold of the big, big ones like this um they just didn't have them in my store for some reason but they do this year so I got a big one but they are a little bit more expensive the big ones so I got a little one and a big one and I'll probably save the big one for neater Christmas time um, and I'll start burning these now. They are gingerbread men so they are kind of Christmassy but the colours are kind of autumnal so I feel like they're quite good for this time of year. In fact I could put this up here. Can you see that there? Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. We'll move that just now. Okay guys believe it or not we're getting through this so pseudocrem. I got a tiny little pseudocrem to pop in the bag I take around for baby autumn. I call her baby autumn. She's one now. <laughs> My baby. Um, because she wears nappies and she gets her bums. So I got that. Um, I picked up these again for autumn because I thought these were quite a good little snack. They are mini tucks. So they're just like tiny little size ones and I thought she'd really like them. 
Um, I picked up these eyelashes. I actually saw them on a video. It was Kate McCabe's video. I love her channel and she, I've collabed with Kate before. She's so lovely. Um, and she did a video on, I think it was a, was it a Home Bargains haul she did. And she talked about these. Um, they're the eye lure texture ones. They also had, I think it was called volume, but the point of them is that they're pre-glued. Um, and she said that she's really struggles to put on her own eyelashes and not to put on her own eyelashes, they just grow out her eyes, but to put on her own false eyelashes. Um, but because these are pre-glued, she finds them much easier. And I also struggle, so I thought I would give these a go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give them a go. Now, I was trying to find in Home Bargains um, the Fabulosa like all-purpose disinfectant spray in wild rhubarb because apparently that's like one of the best smells it's really nice and they didn't have that in my store but when I was in the cleaning section um because like the other fabulosa spray bottles were at the the door as you came in um but when I was in the cleaning section they had these mini ones and this one is the wild rhubarb which I got to try it says it's up to 100 sprays same powerful formula handy travel size suitable for vegans um and I thought this would be really good, like for if I ever take autumn to like a, a coffee shop or something, um, this can be quite handy for spraying like the high chair trays or I don't know, spills on the go. I thought it'd be quite handy. It'd be good to keep in your car actually, if you clean your car. It's not something I do, some people do. Oh, it does smell really good. Um, yeah, got that. Okay, we're gonna move up now. Let's pop some of this stuff away so that I can look at these things. Right, next. Ooh. Okay, the next thing I'm going to share with you, I've actually opened it already, which is why it's all fallen out. Ooh. But it is these tea light candles in the scent Frosted Vanilla. They smell really nice. I thought I'd try them because any time I go to Home Bargains, I just stock up on the gingerbread candles and I thought I should maybe branch out and try some other flavours so I got this one frosted vanilla and one of the things I went to home bargains for was wax melts and I actually forgot to get them and I was so annoyed when I got home but what I did was I just took out these tea lights out of the foil bit and popped them in my wax melter thing and they're working perfect so that's what I did oh I've just found this I put down another candle um, sugared fig and blackberry. This is a new one, I believe, for this year. They haven't done this one before. It's in their like Christmassy range, and it smells nice. I haven't burned it yet, so I don't know what it's going to burn like, but it smells okay. So got that. Okay, back to the other things. Um, I picked up this mirror. It's on a. Ooh, you can see yourself. I picked up this mirror. It is on like a stand, and it's got quite a stiff mechanism. Is that what you call it? Um, which is good because I've got one at the moment and it just kind of like flops about too much. It doesn't stay where you want it to. So I've got this one um, to sit on my windowsill for doing my makeup. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Next, I got this. Um, it's a 2021 calendar. I'm going to put this away for Caitlin's Christmas. It says a year of positive thoughts. Um, they had a narrow one, like your traditional kind of calendar, and they have this wider one. And I like this because it's got loads of different like positive things on the back, like pictures. Um, so she can use them afterwards if she wants to. And also, when it's hanging up, it's almost like a bit of art. And I thought it was really good for her because she's a teenager. And I don't know if you have a teenager, um, they're not always that positive. So, they've got things like... Um, failure is the first step to learning. Nothing is impossible. Do what you can with what you have, wherever you are. Develop an attitude of self-gratitude. You are never too old to set another life goal. Yeah, I got that. Next thing is also for Caitlin and to put away for her Christmas. Um, it is this LED light. Um, similar to the ring light I'm using at the moment. But this one is on a little stand, so you can have it like a tabletop one, or you can like extend it. That's my extending action. Um, so you can have it on the floor and have it like, like what I'm doing now, sitting on a chair. I don't know. It looks quite good. It says 
10 inch LED desktop light with phone holder. It was $8.99 I believe, so quite affordable. Um, it's USB powered, it has a card control. So yeah, you just plug it into like your iPhone charger or phone charger. Um, it has three modes for the light. It's got a tilt, tilting bit so you can adjust like, which is quite good. It's a good thing to have. So she can use that if she's doing like TikToks or selfies or um, other things. And um, the next thing I got was for me. I'm really excited about this. I actually forgot I got this. Um, and now I've remembered, I'm excited again. So it is a pack of 24 sheets of floral patterned paper. Um, 24 sheets with two times 24 double-sided printed patterns. So if you follow my channel, you know I am quite crafty and I like doing um, like creative planner spreads and lots of other things. So I'm always on the hunt for like decorative paper and card um, and it can be quite expensive. So when I saw this in Home Bargains, I thought I would snap that up and I'm sure you'll see it in an upcoming planner video at some point. In fact, I'm going to leave this in here because this is my little office for planning, so might as well leave it there. Oh, another pack of fruit winders. These ones are just strawberry. Um, this is something I picked up for a gift and I don't know who it's for, but I picked it up basically so that I don't forget that they have them. And I'll know to go back and get more for once I do know who it's for. Like, let's start that again. It's a hot chocolate drinks set. You get nine um, in different flavours. There's milk chocolate, double chocolate, peppermint, hazelnut, mint, gingerbread, marshmallow, vanilla. And I presume that's another milk one because it's hiding behind. But it was only 3 99 and I thought it looked like quite a nice, like it's quite big, isn't it? For a gift for like a teacher maybe, or like a neighbour or someone that you're not going to buy like a proper big gift for but you want to give them like a token gift just to say like I appreciate you so I thought that was a good one and for 3 99 I thought it was really um affordable so I don't know who I'm going to give this to but I thought I'd get it so I remember that they have them and I probably will go back for more for like a few people okay I picked up this I've been looking for something first to store my washi tapes for a little while and I was going to do like a DIY craft project of like how to store washi tapes and make it like a frame and I just don't seem to be able to find the time to do that so I picked up this box it's a medium storage box and it looks like it's going to be perfect for washi tapes it's got little individual compartments so hopefully it is um I've got two of these trays I've bought these before um, and I bought it quite a while ago and it's lasted pretty well but it is now starting to get a bit chipped and grubby looking so I got new ones and um, they used to package these as being like a Father's Day gift but now I see they've just made it as like home collections wooden sofa tray they're such a nice little size they're wooden I love how they look I never use it as a sofa tray with because it's got these bits that I don't know if you can see I should show you hang on how'd you get this off I'll just rip one to show you. Oh, right. Oop. Right, it's got these bits on the bottom that come out. Actually, this is much better than my one. My one was like quite dangerous. They were like really stiff and it would chop your finger off. And um, these seem a bit better. And um, I never use these bits anyway. And um, they just sit like that. And I've got two. One is going to sit on a table in my living room. And the idea is that we use it in the evenings for cups of tea and things and then at the end of the night we can just take this through the kitchen and tidy everything up rather than leave our cups lying which we sometimes do um, and the other one is for Caitlin's bedside table so that for the same idea she can keep her cups and teenagery things and then when she comes downstairs she can take it all down with her will it happen we shall find out um my guess is no but well, you know positive thinking and all that um so we're finishing up with this, um, which is actually the thing I went in for. So I feel like it's quite appropriate. Goodness. I feel like it's quite appropriate to finish on this one because it's what I went in for. Um, it is the storage basket in this size. 
does it say it have the dimensions? 295 by 355 by 220 millimetres I presume, it doesn't say that but um, oh it does that's a strange measurement anyway this is the box it's a really good size I find for storing things I use them for like toys I use them for um, snacks and things and cupboards they're just really handy and the ones I've been buying are the curver ones I think that's how you say the name um, and they're normally like really expensive but they've been reduced to three pounds in Tesco lately so I kind of stocked up in those but then my sister told me about these and these are only 199 and granted they're probably not as strong as the curver ones but they're pretty strong and these are in white whereas the curver ones are in cream so I think I prefer the white ones so yeah that is my home bargains haul I bought so much as you can see um now I have to go put it away find places to put everything um, hide away the Christmas things, eat the toffees, clean my dishwasher, change my baby's bum, and yeah, use up all my things. So, thank you so much for watching today. If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe, and then you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And if you give this video a big thumbs up, it would be so good. And I would love it if you'd comment below and tell me. Have you started your Christmas shopping yet? I've got a couple of Christmas items in here that I'm putting away. Have you started your Christmas shopping? Let me know. I want to know. Have you started it? So, until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!